What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the exact probabilities of where a stock might move on Thinkorswim. We're going to make this quick and to the point, and I'm going to show you a really useful feature on Thinkorswim, which is the probability analysis tool. So once you have Thinkorswim open, head over to the analyze tab, type in basically whatever stock you want. In this example, we're going to be using Apple, and then you're going to have probability mode. Uh, you could have in the money, out of the money, or or touching it just depends on what you want to find um, for this example we're going to be using in the money and we can see down here we have a bunch of different price slices you can basically type in whichever price level you want so let's say you're looking at Apple right now and the stock is around $147 and you want to see um, like let's say you want to dip by Apple at $140 right that's your um, intended uh, area of uh, buying you can say so what you can do is you can go to the probability analysis uh, right now it's at 147 you want to buy at 140 so you can just type in $140 down here so I'm gonna type in 140 press enter and now we can see the probabilities of where Apple will be you know and if it will be below 140 by each date so for example today is September 25th of 2021 and on October 1st of 2021 there is a 9.27 percent chance that Apple will be below $140 a share by November 19th of 2021 there is a 35 percent chance that Apple will be below um, $140 a share and you can see all the different price ranges and everything you can see uh, the chances that it will be between 140 and like 147 you can see the chances it will be above you know 161 you can type in whatever numbers you want and even if you just want to get like an estimation or just like a, an idea of where the stock might be you can just hover on this probability chart right here and just like basically the x-axis represents how many days out like we can see 10 days out 20 days out you know 50 days out 100 days out and things like that and the y-axis represents the price level so for example let's say we go 50 days out and then we go to 150 dollars a share so we can see that there is a 39 percent chance that apple will close above uh, 150 dollars a share on um, november 14th and then there's a 61 percent chance that it will close below 150 dollars a share and you can just get like a nice estimation by using that and if you don't see these crosshairs you can just click this button right here and it will uh, toggle that um, but long story short this is a really useful tool to just get an idea of where a stock might be it uses implied volatility um, to calculate these um, expected values and an even more useful tool is let's say you go to the studies tab you click edit studies and then you just type in cone you'll see the probability of expiring cone you can add this to your chart by double clicking it you can head over to the settings icon and you can type in your intended range so for example or actually no you, you want to adjust the period so this is for like 100 days out but let's say you want to get like an idea of where a stock might be 15 days from now you can just type in 15 15, press OK and then apply and then there's a cone drawn on your chart that shows you um, that there's gonna be a 68% chance that Apple will be between these two levels and it works for basically any stock like if you're doing it on some penny stocks it's probably not gonna work but for the most part you can do it on um, a lot of stocks and you can see this with 68% certainty of where a stock will be in the next X amount of days. And you can adjust it pretty easily. If we go to the settings icon, let's say you want to see, um, you know, uh, where Apple will be in the next uh, seven days, right? And let's say you want it with 90% certainty. You can type in 90, press OK, and click apply. And then you will have the visualization for you. Now, one thing to keep in note is the higher level of confidence you select for example right now we have a 90 percent level of confidence on the spy the wider the range will be you know what i mean because then there it's uh spy is more likely 
to be between 421 and 467 than it is likely to be between 430 and 450. So the higher you make the confidence level, the wider we're going to see that cone be. So for example, right now it's at 90. You can change it to 97 if you want right now. So let's change it to 97. We can see the current range is between 421 and 467. And now it's going to go between 414 and 475. So just keep that in mind. Generally speaking, most people use 68% because that is within the first standard deviation of expected moves. So we can just use that as like a baseline and um, it's really cool. Basically, when you use 68% chance, that tells you what the market is expecting. So this can be useful in a couple different scenarios. One being, let's say you have a stock where implied volatility is super low. Like I guess you can say, let's say we look at, I mean Palantir's implied volatility is relatively low right now, but let's say um, you think Palantir has, like let's say if we go to the expiring cone right now, we can see the market is expecting Palantir with a 68% level of certainty to be between uh, $25.88 and $31.24. Let's say you know or you have a really strong feeling or uh, you really think that Palantir will either be below 25.88 or above 31.24 just by looking at their chart or you know that there's upcoming news or whatever. What you can do in scenarios like this is buy a straddle because the cone represents the market's expected move and if you just think the stock is going to be more volatile than what the market is expecting, you can profit off of that significantly. So a lot of times with low implied volatility stocks like Walmart or you know Procter & Gamble or Verizon, the market doesn't really expect that large of a move and that's when straddles can be pretty beneficial on them. But on stocks like OPAD and IRNT and some of these hype stocks, the market is expecting such a large move where um, you probably would not want to buy any options and you would actually want to uh, sell the options. So for example, if you are seeing um, with IRNT right now, the implied volatility is 200% and you're thinking, all right, there's no way this stock uh, has a 68% chance of going above $32.70 or below $16.72 or $16.72 um, and you think that it's going to move a lot less than that, you can just like sell an iron condor or something along those lines. But either way, the probability of expiring cone is pretty useful and there are a lot of different ways to use it. And then even if you don't want to use the cone, you can just remove it and then you can just head over to the analyze tab and just analyze the probabilities freely like this. And even if you have positions, they will be added down here. But uh, this is a really useful tool and not too many people know about it. And it can be a little bit complex to use at first. But I encourage you to take a look at it. And besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you learned something, it would really help me out if you could hit the, hit the like button down below and even leave a comment. But other than that, thanks for watching.